The Lakers are nearing a deal to acquire Washington Wizards point guard Russ Westbrook, which they were looking to acquire him because they need a veteran point guard to bring the ball out for LeBron. I think this is probably going to help LeBron go off-handed and probably get more shots in and probably run around the court and get his own shot and serve Korean for other people as much. And bringing the ball up can take a lot of energy, so I think that's why they wanted him. Or Chris Paul, there were reports that Chris Paul was another one looking into. And then this is what they traded to get him. Kyle Kuzma, KCP, Montrezl Harrell in 2022 first round pick. 2021 first round pick, which was the 22nd pick in this year's draft. A lot of people were complaining that this is a super team and all this other stuff about the Nets and how this is a ruined basketball and how the Bucks are going to win the championship and all this other stuff. The Bucks are going to win the championship again with a fully healthy James Harden, Kyrie, and Kevin Durant. They're not getting past them. I don't really see that happening. And this is really to compete with the Nets. They have really no other option, but Russell Westbrook, I think that they can win the championship this year, and I think they're probably most likely going to be the favorites. I think that adding Russell Westbrook's good on the team, and it's funny how most of these people who are saying all this stuff is saying, are saying people saying that Russell Westbrook's a stat pattern and all this other stuff. And if you think about it, the first super team was the Boston Celtics in 2008. They traded for Ray Allen and Kevin Garnett. And if you look at the definition of a super team, it's any team that trades or in free agency and not in the draft. So the Celtics was a super team. There's a lot more super teams than people will think. 